I like uh, there's part of us, you know, it's a it's a hard earned point. Obviously, you know, this is a venue that everyone knows is very difficult to go to. Um, it's you know the, the crowd's right in on top of you, the pitch is tight. You know, it's it's a tough venue, and um, I thought we played well. I thought we coped up with the atmosphere well. I thought we we created a good number of chances. Um, we've obviously hit the crossbar in the second half, and we've done a few other bits and pieces. Um, I thought overall it was good. Um, thought a little bit unlucky, maybe not to get the winner. We had a lot of corners, a lot of set pieces, which shows you how much of the game was played in the attacking half for us. Um, one or two little things maybe we can do better, but look, we're not maybe so used to playing on this type of surface, this type of environment so often, but I thought the guys did well. It's another point towards our total, and you know, we now have a, you know, recover and we move on to the next game, which is obviously the derby. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think you saw that. Like, ultimately, we didn't really give Wazito many chances. In the first half, they didn't really have any. In the second half, we opened up a little bit more because we knew we had to go. We went quite offensive in the second half. And so Wazito had one or two maybe breakaway chances. But again, I don't really remember Gad Matthews making any, any save. You know, he's collected a lot of stuff. So I think the guys coped up with the tension well. And yeah, look, we know, you know when you come here that, um, that it's going to be an intense atmosphere, that it's going to be an ag aggressive atmosphere. And that starts before the bus even pulls in, as it did today. But I thought the guys did well with it. You know, they worked. Obviously, it's disappointing. We wanted to have three points, but overall, I thought, you know, it was a well-earned point. Yeah, no, absolutely. I think now the Mashamedji Derby, obviously, in a week's time. So it's about getting back to Nairobi this evening, and we'll go straight back about them getting recovered and um, sort of just re-energized, which we'll do. And yeah, the guys are eager for it. Um, you know, Neayo, big open spaces. And I think just like the last time when we played AFC in the first round, you know, it was an end-to-end -end game and um, we could have won it. A bit disappointed we didn't, but you know, we're going there. We, we want the three points, but we know we've got to work hard to get them. Yeah, no, I was really pleased with the support here. You know, they were they were loud, they were passionate. You know, we see a lot of them around us here now. And, you know, the one thing I would say is, well, two things, is, you know, it's a big thank you to all the fans for coming out. And we've got five more cup finals left this season that we've got to go out. And, you know, we're hoping back in Nairobi we're going to get uh, the similar, if not greater numbers. The one thing I would like to say, though, is, you know, coming in, I do think it, it was tough for the fans to be here today because obviously coming in, it's not easy to come here the way some of them were treated coming in. You know, I saw that and, you know, it's one of the things, you know, that the FKF and the organizers, you know, their first priority should be the fan experience, should be, you know, are the fans looked after, are they treated well? And unfortunately today, I don't think the Kogalo fans were treated very well here in Morohone. So I would, I would urge, you know, in future games, doesn't matter the venue, that the number one priority has to be the supporter safety and has to be the supporter enjoyment. So the fans come out to enjoy a game of football. They don't deserve to be treated the way they were treated trying to get into the stadium today. You know, so uh, I thank them for coming and I, I hope they're, they're there in the next five cup finals that we have. Thank you, thank you very much, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you.